Okay, camera there. What's up, gang? Okay, today we're going to be going back to the Jurassic Park by Ralph the Rails game. Um, before, we didn't have any recoil on player gun or player one gun. Um, I did get the uh, proper fuses for it. They are two amp slow blow. I didn't have any kind of slow blows. Um, unfortunately, when I came in, there was more problems. So stick around. We're going to go through that. I'm going to show you uh, in the manual what I found out, how I'm going to fix it, and what part I'm going to order. So be right back. Okay, so here we are at the game. As you can see, there is nothing on the screen. If I can zoom in, this says no signal. So basically, we're not getting any game signal to the monitor. I don't know uh, exactly what the power issue is right now, but we're going to pop the game open, take a look in the back, and go ahead and replace those fuses. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and replace the fuses for the uh, recoil on that player one gun, which I have them here. They were two amp slow blows. Let's go ahead and do that. Would have been nice if this was all we had to do. And then we'll start getting into this power issue. So this will get take care of the recoil issue. Basically turn it until it goes up a little bit. I thought this was going to be a little easier than it was. Okay, there we go. So, now we're going to look at the power. Let me get this where I can move it around a little bit. So, basically, here's the PC here. Um, and the power button is right here. And it'll be lit up. So, I know it'll be lit up. Um, I already took out the, the computer. I took it into the office and I plugged it straight into the wall and everything worked fine with a different power cord. So I took this right here is the power cord that's in the game. I actually swapped it out and ran it to here and still no power. So what I started doing is just kind of following the wiring around. And as you can see, it comes into this box, goes from here to here. Um, so I checked here I'm getting voltage but I'm not getting voltage there so just for shits and giggles we will say um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, if I can see what I'm doing here well at first I'm gonna I'll turn the game on and I'll I'll show you I'm gonna show you this one thing so when the game comes on, as you can see, the LEDs have kicked on on the board here. We've got green LEDs. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. But everything's running, right, except for the computer. And if you look, there is a little LED right here that is not coming on. So I knew, I knew that this wasn't making connection, and it's also not making connection through here. I'll show you in the manual what this is and kind of how it all works. But I did want to just go ahead and just go ahead and fill the connection here for the power to the PC. Man, it's okay, it's on there, good. And this is live, so if you're doing this, watch out because it, it will get you. Oh, come on. 
missing in it. Okay, so we know we're live right there. We know we have good power right there at that corner. So now let's go ahead and plug it in. And we should get power to the PC anyway. And let's see if we can see it. Okay, the light did come on on the PC. So let's go around front and take a look at the game, see what we got going. Okay, we do have some action. Just kind of wait and see what's going on here. It did start up, PC did start up. Okay, so it says up here at the top, Rio disconnected. And that is that little box that's at the bottom. But I do believe the game will come up. Okay, so the game came up. And I did this earlier. The uh, card reader did come up, but whenever you swiped a card without this Rio connected, which I'm not sure what stands for, um, I wasn't able to get the game to coin up. I couldn't get it to put, couldn't put it in test, anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and hop back into the office, and we'll take a look at the manual, and uh, I'll show you what's going on with that and, and uh, what I determined. Okay, here we have the manual. Let me get a little bit closer, as close as possible. So right here. Why is this so stiff? Okay. This PC watchdog relay. This is where the problem is. Okay, we have power coming in here, but not over to one. And then so this, it says, oh, that's just the colors. So this is, I think, is, is five volts. And it comes up to right here. And this is uh, connector number two. And says five volts standby. And then the PC power on. So what I tried to do is, now that I have the PC coming on, I tried to, instead of having, let me zoom back in so we know what we're talking about, instead of having the 5 volts in the ground come from this P PC watchdog relay, just to see, I ran these two wires to ground and uh, 5 volts off of the power supply. No luck. Did not work. Still had the Rio problems. So basically what we're going to have to do is, is order this part here. And let me zoom in one more time. This is the part number, I do believe, right here for this Rio board, which is, is what the uh, manual is calling it. And let's go ahead and I'll show you in the troubleshooting. My fuse is out of the way. Okay, so we are here. Connect I.O. board, I.O. board missing, USB cable disconnected, blown fuse, no power to Rio board, bad Rio board, missing field, earth ground. One thing I did not check is for another blown fuse, which I will check that now, but I don't think that that's the issue. I think that board is bad. Um, so we'll go ahead and check for, for the blown fuse. Um, no power to the Rio board. Um, there, the, where it says no power to the Rio board, there's a connector that's that pin to. It wants you to check for 5 volts there, and I wasn't getting 5 volts there. Um, so bad Rio board, I'll, um, this is what I think I have to do, is just replace that little square thing I was showing you. Um, miss, missing ground, uh, I don't, don't have that problem on the plug. And that's it for that. Okay, here's the other problem. Gun's not vibrating. Bad fuse or 25 or 24 volts DC power supply. Bad recoil PCB. And that was just the, the two fuses on that side, which it was odd that both fuses blew on the same side. So what we're going to do here is, hopefully I'm on myself here. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is order that Rio board. I'm going to check these fuses now. If that was the problem, I'll come back and, and let you guys know. Get my stupid flashlight on my head. But thanks for sticking around. We'll get that uh, part in, and uh, we'll have it fixed next week. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what I do with that. So thanks for watching. Okay, I do want to touch base. I did go check these fuses. They are, say this is your, your main board here. Um, this is the first connector. This is the second connector. This is the one where it has the 5 volts in the ground coming in straight off of the watchdog relay. Now, the fuses, there's a 5-volt fuse and a 12-volt fuse that are right here at the top of the board. They're little itty-bitty guys. They're not as long as, as these uh, regular ones that I use. Um, those were fine. That wasn't an issue. Um, 
So I am going to go ahead and order this tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get it in about a week or so. Um, the other thing is I have to figure out why I'm not getting, um, not able to start a game and coin it up. And I see there's start lamps here, player one and player two start there. Um, so I'm assuming that this five volts that comes in, maybe it's, or the, even the ground is helping with some of this stuff. And then I just got to find, uh, I got to find the coin. But hopefully that, once I get this and get the power running through this as it should, hopefully that'll solve my, my coin, is, coin up issues and I can't get it in the test menu and all that stuff. But I did want to just touch base just in case that you did have this problem and you had a balloon fuse. They're up here at the top left corner of the board. Now obviously this board isn't an inch long or inch wide and it, it comes way out past the piece of paper. But they're up here in the top left hand corner in case you need to find that. Okay, stay tuned. Next week we'll get this thing fixed. What did you think about that video? Did you like that video? I loved it. Was I not in it? Well, did I love that? I better have been in that video. I hope you liked the video. It was definitely my best work. If I'm not in that video, you better watch this one over here. Oh, if you're not going to do that, just subscribe. You'll get a notification. Bye.